once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Would you look what we have here? Some beautiful footage of Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bags as provided by Halo Collector. It seems like the wait has been quite long for this series, and it's starting to appear in a lot of targets across America, so I assume there's going to be a full rollout by the end of this month. And yes, thank you, Halo Collector, for all this awesome footage. Kevin at Halo Collector is, uh, you know, his, his collection is unrivaled to anything else on this earth. He has a crazy, crazy amount of Halo, and I'm going to have the joy of finally meeting him in person in about two months time. I cannot wait for all the videos we're going to make together. So he bagged a full box of Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bags. I gotta say, man, the packaging has really sort of uh, grown on me. I love the cleanness of it. I love that new purple mega logo. And the backdrop, while very basic, it makes the figures pop. And I think really the only thing we want is for figures to be able to be visible on store shelves. And would you look at that rarity? It was such a relief to find out that the Sentinel was a common figure in these blind Bags. I don't want it to be the ultra rare. I don't want one per box. The Jackal Sniper, I'm very happy with the AC being one per box. Grunt as well being a rare. Like, this is really good choices. And with all this footage, we have all the codes for these blind bags. Now, keep in mind, I only have one set of codes so far, and I've been seeing some slightly different variations on the internet. Basically, in the pinned comment of this video, I'm going to have updated any future codes we find. But right now, we've only got one set, and a lot of these codes also came from from Bigfoot's Lego Room. He did an unboxing of Halo Infinite Series 4 as well. Check those codes out, screenshot it, share it with your friends, tag your parents, you know? <laughs> Let's get this information around. These are the codes you need for Halo Infinite Series 4. And again, I'll add more in the comments if more are found. We're gonna start with the Marine. So I'm gonna just give a basic overview of these figures. Uh, my full review will come when I finally get these in person, but I wanted to give a little analysis of them to begin with. And thank you, Kevin, for all this gorgeous footage. This Marine Marine is just perfect, right? I love that speckled effect right across her armor, and it is a female torso and has the new mask. This is such a great head mold, first debuted in the Banished Garrison pack, and just looks exceptional, right? I'm going to army build so many of them, especially the fact that it comes with a commando rifle. Then we've got a new weapon, the Ravager, that comes with the green Spartan Recon. I love Recons, I love all Recons, and this one is no exception. I think this is a really great figure. I am particularly enjoying how all of these have a color scheme. They feel like they all fit together as one set. You know, the colors of the second half of his limbs are the same as the marine. Really nice. I love that touch. It's quite similar to like Warrior and Challenger series, all those ones where it was sort of all one color coordinated set. And I do respect that. So this recon looks great. Some good highlights on his knife and a few pieces on his helmet. The visor looks clean and I can't wait to get that Ravager. The third figure, oh boy, we've got the Sentinel. Now I know a few people are disappointed that it doesn't have a Sentinel beam at the bottom. Apparently Apparently Mega said they would have had to remold the Sentinel beam to do that. I think in the future we might get that, but this is the second ever Sentinel we've ever got, and the first one was only in a random battlescape. Like, no one has it. So this is a great chance for Mega to reintroduce the Sentinel, and also my Mega, you know, loves doing micro builds, and this is essentially a micro build, but an actual figure. Next I want Warden Eternal and a Guardian. I want so many different things. But this looks great. I love the blue stud. You could easily switch that out for a red stud. And the Sentinel has so much uh, significance after being in Halo Infinite. Infinite, so it seemed like the perfect time, especially in a Halo Infinite series blind bag. The build itself looks really clean. You can move those fans at the back and his arms look like they've got some great posability. Oh man, comment down below how many you're gonna get of this Sentinel, especially with it being a common, I will get 20. Just watch me. Infected Anubis take the stage, glow in the dark armor and a green energy sword. I know fans of MCX really do like that green energy sword. It's been a while since we've had a infected Spartan. I don't wanna say a flood Spartan or a zombie, you know, these are just infected game mode Spartans. We've had a couple of really cool infected battle packs in the past. It's just great to see it return. It's great to see that Mega is still showing it some love. Again, a really nice visor and the silver and glow in the dark green. Awesome. Really awesome. I love this series, man. Then we've got the Grunt. Of course, it wouldn't be a blind bag series without a Grunt. I name this Grunt forevermore Poplio. This is Poplio the Grunt. <laughs> I know people always want me to name our Grunts. Yeah, he, he looks fine. Uh, he doesn't have any colored detailing on the front of his mask, which other Grunts like this have. I love the studs in his back though, and apparently reports are coming in that all of the Series 4 blind bags are pre-constructed figures. Like, they're already built inside the bags, which is pretty wild to me. Uh, I don't remember
remember, that, I mean, that's not been the case since like series six or seven. So really strange uh, direction for Mega to take, but uh, let's see where it goes. Yeah, that grunt is uh, pretty basic, but every series needs a grunt. And the last figure is the Jackal Sniper. What I didn't realize about this Jackal Sniper when it first came out was that it has those little blue uh, painted applications on its mask, which I just think is a great touch. He should have definitely come with a banished or any kind of sniper rifle that was in Halo Infinite. It is quite bizarre that we have a beam rifle instead of a stalker rifle, but I know Mega's production or their new mold budget is quite tight. This is probably my favorite, uh, well, it is my favorite AC figure that we've had in uh, Halo Infinite series blind bag so far. We've had the Chief, a Trailblazer, and a Brute Chieftain, but this one's great. I've never seen a AC figure with just such a tiny amount of detail. Honestly, this is a quality series. Yes, Mega stepped it down to six figures, which I'll always say I am not a fan of whatsoever. There should have been more, but again, this is a really great series, and I'm sure whatever decision Mega made was in their best interest. Let me know in the comments down below which of these figures is your favorite, and how many Sentinels are you going to army build, because I swear there is no limit for me, especially with it being a common figure. The rarity in particular is the best decision made in this series, as well as that Marine. I'm really excited to collect them all. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Thank you so much for all the support on my videos recently, and another big monster shout out to Halo Collectors Kevin Hurd. Thank you so much for this footage. I cannot wait to meet you in person in two months time. And guys, I'm going to play the original reveal that I did for these figures after this is over because I just really enjoy that video. And it's just a really great showcase, really great uh, comparison of like when they were originally revealed to the figures we have on shelves now. Let me know if you're excited about this series. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. The Domain is signing off. Have a great day.